Like it or not, Windows 11 is here and Microsoft is slowly rolling out its new OS to all of its users. Today I'm going to show you two ways to get Windows 11 right now. You can get Windows 11 by waiting for an update from Microsoft to roll out through its Windows update, but Microsoft has said that it will slowly roll out this update to users throughout the next few months. Now, I don't know about you, I'm a little impatient and I want it right now, so I'm gonna show you how to download Windows 11 today. The two methods I'm going over is one, downloading the update directly from Microsoft's website, and two, creating a bootable USB. But first, I'm gonna go over how to check to see if your PC is even compatible with Windows 11. If you already know this, feel free to skip ahead in the video. I left time codes in the description below. Before we start downloading Windows 11, we wanna make sure that our machine is compatible with the new OS. The two main requirements are that you have a TPM 2.0 chip on your motherboard and that Secure Boot is enabled on your machine. Microsoft has required PC manufacturers to include these options on all new computers since July of 2016. However, many users have reported that these options are disabled, thus keeping them from upgrading to Windows 11. It's a simple fix, so let's go through the process by checking Windows 11's compatibility on your machine. Start by going to your favorite web browser and typing in www.microsoft.com forward slash en dash us forward slash software dash downloads forward slash Windows 11. There, you'll see a link to download Microsoft's PC Health Check tool. Click on the link. On the next page, click Download PC Health Check app. Navigate to where you downloaded the app, then double click to run it. Agree to the license agreement and click Install. Let it do its thing for just a few seconds, then click Finish. The app will launch immediately. Click on the blue Check Now button. Windows will run a check to see if your machine is compatible with Windows 11. If it shows that TPM 2.0 and or Secure Boot isn't enabled, check out this video here where I walk you through how to enable these options. If you have green check marks and your computer is ready for Windows 11, then we can continue. To update your machine to Windows 11, start by visiting the Windows 11 download page. Scroll all the way down to the Windows 11 installation assistant. Click the blue Download Now button. Find the downloaded file and launch it. To start the install, click the Accept and Install button. The installer will do the following three steps on its own without you needing to do anything. It will download Windows 11, then verify the download, and finally install Windows 11. During this time, you can use your computer and let this run in the background. Do know that it takes about 30 minutes to an hour or longer depending on your internet speed and your computer's processing power. Once it's installed, your PC will automatically restart in 30 minutes, or you can simply click the Restart Now button to advance. Your computer will update and restart a few times as it finalizes the Windows 11 installation. You'll be greeted with the new Windows 11 login screen. Go ahead and log in back into your machine. Windows will do one final setup, and once it's complete, it will release you into the new look Windows 11 desktop. And there you have it. You've successfully updated your computer to Windows 11. If you're looking to do a clean installation of Windows 11, then creating a bootable USB is the route you want to go. The bootable USB method is one of my favorite ways to install Windows because one, it allows me to do a fresh installation of Windows, and two, it allows me to have a backup copy of Windows 11 nearby in case I need to restore or recover the OS after, let's say, a bad Windows update. Having a bootable USB also allows me to update as many computers as I want around the home without having to download Windows 11 on every single PC, which would be incredibly time consuming and ain't nobody got time for that. To create a bootable USB, we'll be using Microsoft's Windows 11 media creation tool. We'll also need a USB drive that is larger than eight gigabytes in size. Do know that this process erases everything on the flash drive, so be sure to back up anything that you have on it that you wanna save. To create a bootable USB with Windows 11 on it, start by going to the Windows 11 download page. Scroll down to the Create Windows 11 Installation Media section. Click on the blue Download Now button. Navigate to the download .exe file and launch it. Windows 11 setup will begin. Click the Accept button to get started. On the next page, you'll be asked for which edition you'd like to create media for. 
Currently, the only option is Windows 11. Just a side note here, you'll be able to install Windows 11 Home or Windows 11 Pro or any other variation of Windows 11 you may need. We'll choose our version when installing Windows later on. For now, click Next. Here on this page, we're going to select the USB flash drive and then click Next. If you haven't already plugged in your USB drive, plug it in now, then click Refresh Drive List. Your USB drive should pop up on the list, select it, and then click Next. From here on out, the installer will download Windows 11, verify the download, and create the Windows 11 media. This takes a while, so be prepared to go do something else. Once the process is complete, click Finish. From here, you can eject the flash drive and take it to another machine, or to do a clean installation of Windows, you first need to get into the BIOS. To do this, navigate to the Start menu, then click Settings, click on Update and Security. On the left menu, click on Recovery. Then, under the Advanced Startup, click Restart Now. The machine will reboot into this blue window. Click on the Troubleshoot option, then the Advanced options. Look for the UEFI Firmware settings, then click Restart. The system will reboot and load into the BIOS. If you don't have the UEFI firmware settings, there is another way of getting into the BIOS, but it requires quick fingers. Start by turning off your computer, then turn it back on. As it boots up, you might have seen a manufacturer logo. During this screen, you'll have to quickly press or tap a key on your keyboard. On some splash screens, you'll see a line of text at the bottom saying press F2 to enter setup or system configuration F2. Depending on what kind of computer you have, it might be a different key. It could be any key ranging from F1, F2, F8, F10, F11, and even the delete key. For my motherboard here, I'll use the delete key. Once in the BIOS of your computer, navigate to the boot menu. In the boot override section, you'll see your internal drive along with the flash drive. Select and boot into the flash drive. From there, your computer will load up the Windows 11 installer. Select your language and click Next, then Install Now. If you have your Windows product key handy, you can put it in now, or you can activate your Windows later. I'll do the latter option. Pick your version of Windows 11. I'll be going with Windows 11 Home. Then click Next. On this screen, you have two options. You can either upgrade and keep all of your files and settings, or you can do a custom installation, which will erase everything and do a clean installation of Windows. I'm going to select the custom option, select the drive you want to install Windows 11 on, and click Next. Windows setup will take over and you can sit back and relax while Windows does its thing. Your computer will restart a few times. After that, you'll be guided through setting up Windows 11. Select your country or region and click Yes. Choose your keyboard layout, click Yes. Windows will then check for updates and do some work in the background. On the following screen, it'll ask you to give your PC a name. This is usually the name it will show up as on your network. Then click Next. After a few more reboots, you'll be greeted with this screen. Here, you'll have to create or sign in to a Microsoft account. Unlike previous versions of Windows, this is required. You'll be able to switch to an offline account after the installation is complete. Sign in and create a PIN for your machine, click OK. And since you logged into your Microsoft account, it will pull up information on your previous computers. You can restore your settings and preferences if you'd like. I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna click Set Up as New Device, then click Next. On the following screen, you can decide what information you want to share with Microsoft, click Accept. You can customize your experience with Windows 11 if you'd like, however, I'm gonna go ahead and skip this. OneDrive is also being pushed with Windows 11. I will choose to not back up my files to OneDrive, you can if you'd like. Click Next. More Microsoft products here, I'll click no thanks. And that's it, your computer will finish the setup and in a few short minutes, you'll be dropped off into the new Windows 11 desktop. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in getting Windows 11, I've left a link to it in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to CNET. See ya.